So, life is interesting and life happens. My beloved vehicle, my best friend, when there was no one, has died. Which is unfortunate, because like I have to move, I gotta get new equipment, my vehicle dies, it's like money, 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 money. But <laughs> that's kind of the way life works and it's interesting, but here I am complaining. But it's interesting, when life happens, you just keep going. And I say that from a perspective of someone who's very fortunate in everything they've been given in life. But I also say that because of this. I don't want to sound pretentious because I often have that problem because I have been very fortunate. But I also know people who were raised less fortunate than myself and have absolutely killed it and made a lot out of themselves. So, no matter what, just keep moving forward. One foot after the other. Talk about a doom and gloom day. I mean, golly, well... This is a, not a rental, but a buddy's car letting me use, and where my car should be. Oh, we gotta go to the bank. I forgot to mention that because that's important. So we're going to the bank, then we're going to the dealership, and then we cry in silence while listening to Drake. It's gonna be good. You know what feels great? Making deposits. Making deposits feels so good, because you're like, check, money, love it. Really nice. Can live, you can live. That's the coolest thing about it, I think, is you just take this piece of paper, which stands for money, which stands for things, a roof over your head, transportation, all that jazz, just a treat. I'm looking at, I wanna see, so what I had was a GTI. I wanna look at a new Golf R, because I like the GTI, but I want an all wheel drive, but then I also wanna be practical, look at the new Tiguan, because it comes in a really good habanero orange. It's a really nice metallic color, really nice flake to it. We'll see. This. I want to have a little talk, quick 60 seconds, let's just kill this, get it out of the way, in your face, in your ears, whatever. So uh, there's this thing called worry or anxiety or just uncertainty in life and it causes us a lot of unrest and a lot of nerves that we don't really need to feel. Uh, today was one of those days where I was experiencing a lot of it. Uh, I got the news, the car was shot out of pocket, got to figure out how to move costs, all that jazz. There's a lot of dollars, a lot of things up in the air that I don't know what is going to happen with. But uh, driving home today, I was listening to a sermon from Elevation Church. I'm not gonna get preachy on you, I'm just stating. Listening to a sermon uh, from a church out there out in North Carolina, by the way, if you know them, they're great. Uh, and it just happened to be on worrying or worry. And it's there was a line from it that said something to the effect of, why worry about something that God has figured out for you? And I'm like, that eh, pretty much sums it up. Gosh darn it. So, I mean, really, there's a nice peace in that. I'm not telling you to go be religious. I'm not trying to pregnate your brain with my views and my opinions and thoughts. Uh, but it's just something to, to keep in mind is sometimes we try and take too much upon ourselves as human. I mean, I know I know I do. Um, I don't know. There's a, there's a nice peace in knowing like everything works out for a reason. It's like maybe you don't have to like take control of literally everything. Maybe something has to happen or, I don't know, mix your world up a little bit. Be uncomfortable, change is good, so on and so forth. Keep telling myself that. If you made it through this far in the video, I appreciate you, cause gosh darn it, <laughs> I've said a lot, so thank you for your time. Also, my social links are in the description, so go follow me, DM me, and say hi, I wanna know who you are, and shameless plug. So, I'll see you guys next video, which is gonna be basically moving, and all the jazz that goes along with it, and all the refurnishing and stuff that I have to do to the place. It's gonna be lit. As it always is, toodles. See you next time. Bye-bye.